Hey hey, it's Bunny Hop High. This time I'm going to show you how to build this sugarcane farm. The way it works is quite easy. The observer over there is in a staring contest with the sugarcane. Means when the sugarcane blinks or ages or is growing, he sees it and therefore fires the piston. And yeah, this hold works. So we have eight pistons four times on each side and they hopefully do their job and harvest our sugarcane. And now I show you how to build this thing. For the materials, you're going to need some wood, bricks, granite and terracotta. If you don't like to use the terracotta, you're fine with the granite to break the repetitiveness of the bricks. The area to build this should be at least 13 by 25. You start at the corner with two blocks, then another two, and then you go out three more blocks. The whole thing is less complicated than it looks like. Basically what you do is you make the layout and then you build the walls up from there. So on this side you go one around the corner, then one out, one more and then two. Here you place a block and a slab. So these are going to be our doorsteps and then we connect over to the other side. Continue this till you're three blocks away from the path block and then you connect to the wall. Same thing on this side. So you start out with two blocks, then another two, then one out and then two. And here as well, it's a block and a slab. And then connect over to the other corner and just mirror what you did before. So again, one around the corner, one more, another one and two. And again, the block and the slab. Make your way over to the other side. And then again, three blocks away from the path. And there you connect over to the outer wall. So here you go just one block in. So leave the outer blocks alone and then you build up those walls. On this side it's a bit different, so we've got these five corner blocks, so leave one and then the next two go up one block. Back on the other side, so same thing, leave the outer six blocks alone. And here again, these two go up one block and the others just leave. So here it starts to get a little redstone-y. I mean, there is not much of a redstone, but you know, some sprinkles. So here we place our first server facing away from you. And then on top of those bricks, eight pistons, then a cobblestone and eight pistons again. This little, I don't know, shaft we built there is for the collecting system. So there will be a hopper and the sugar cane from above will fall into it.
a little more redstone, connect the observer up to those pistons. Then in the center where the cobblestone is a repeater and then redstone dust. And on this side as well, a little bit of redstone. So place the observer facing away from you. And then those pistons all the way across. And in the center a cobblestone. Blocks on top of the pistons. And then again redstone dust to connect the observer to those pistons. And in the center again the repeater and then the redstone. Continue building up, placing those blocks. So basically the block placement stays the same, so just follow what you see and build it up. Continue building up and close this little gap there. Use oak planks and connect over to the other side. Now some bricks and go back. And from here again oak planks to connect to the other side. Next observer facing away from you. And again the oak planks. So one block underneath the observer and one next to it. And again pistons eight times, cobblestone and eight times pistons again.
oak planks on top of the pistons. Some redstone behind the observer and all the way up to the oak planks. Then a repeater in the center where the cobblestone is and then redstone dust. And two more blocks on this side as well. Now this side Continue building up those walls. Push yourself over to the other side. Again, close this little gap and oak planks to get back. And again back over. Connect both sides. Place the observer facing away from you. And connect over on this side as well. Again, eight pistons, cobblestone, and eight pistons again. If I would do some outtakes, you could see how often I fell off of those blocks placing these pistons. One block next to it and one underneath. And then the redstone dust to connect up to the planks. So 
So redstone dust, then the repeater, and then redstone dust. Now, if you haven't done it already, texturing. Just drop one block down, and then you go two planks, glowstone, two planks, glowstone, two planks, act ice, two planks, glowstone, another two planks, one glowstone, and two planks again. Go down one more block and place planks to get back. Now down here, upside down stairs and leave a gap where the cobblestone is. Trap doors to finish those lights. Just punch your little hole so you can get through and place the hoppers. So it's one hopper against the chest and the next faces into that one and so on. Since we have the mud, we can use the hoppers to collect all the, in this case, sugarcane that might not land in the water stream. Some oak planks to make a floor. And close a little hole we punched before. Now the mud on top of the hoppers. In the center where the cobblestone is, place the ice. And the pressure plate. Now everything that lands in the water will slide over and continues into the chest. Now the sugar cane and everything works because the pistons fired. On this side again, drop down one block and then two planks, glowstone, two planks, glowstone, two planks again, packed ice, two planks, glowstone, two planks again a glowstone and two planks. Drop down one more block and then planks to close off this gap. And again down here upside down stairs and leave a gap where the cobblestone is and trap doors to finish these lights. Again, punch a hole in the wall. Double chest, hopper into the chest and then the next hopper into that one and so on. Oak planks for the floor, packed ice. And close the hole in the wall. No mud. Some packed ice and then mud again. The pressure plate on top of the ice block and then the water. Tap 
time to place the sugar cane. And again, everything works because the pistons fired. Here, just close the gap using some bricks and then close the whole thing off with glass. To collect the sugar cane that might not land in water, place a barrel, then a hopper facing into that one, and then a hopper into this, and so on, to so make a little hopper chain, and the same thing on the other side. Now the mud, a packed ice, the pressure plate, and the water. And again the sugar cane. Here is a bit different, so there is a glowstone and some trapdoors around. And some glass to close it off. And on this side the same thing. A glowstone in the center, trapdoors around, and some glass. Trapdoors around the glowstone. Then another glowstone in the center, a stair and a slab on both sides, and then some stripped spruce lock. A glowstone right where the packed ice is, some oak, another glowstone and then oak again. And trap doors around. On this light again, some trap doors around it. Then on top we start the actual roof. So it's a slab, another one, then trapdoors around the glowstone. And then just slaps to the corner. Then you go down one, another one, one next to it and one up. Same on this side. One down, another one, another slap, and one up. Stripped oak logs, stripped oak boards, and the fence on top. On this side again, trapdoors around the glowstone. On this side as well. Then a glowstone is there and a slab on both sides. Trap door in front. Some screws.
Apple glowstone where the packed ice is. Then oak. Another glowstone. Trap doors around. And oak to connect down. Up here, same thing. Flaps all the way to the corner. One down. Another one. One more. And then one up. And here again. Slaps all the way to the corner. One down. Another one. One more. And one up. Now trap doors around the glowstone. Then you go four up and the fence on top. Right there in front of the observer I forgot a block so there need to be two. So trap doors on this side as well. These fences, they go up right where the redstone is and the other ones next to the glowstone go up one more block. And here as well, up to the redstone. Trap doors left and right. Hook to go up. 11 blocks. And on this side as well. So 1, 2, 3, 11. Here again, fences all the way up. And here you go up 11 as well. Trap doors left and right. And then some fences to connect over where the redstone is. And here on the outside as well, just some fences to close this part off. On this side as well. Now for the actual roof, it's a slab. Then a trap door and another on top. Then two planks. Then two slabs, another one, and one down, then another two, another one, and one up. 
now slaps all the way over to the other side. And same thing, I slap two trapdoors, two planks, two slaps, one up. On this side, one slap and one up as well. And from here, it's trapdoors. And an upside down stair and a slap and then a trap door and trap doors on top and the same here upside down stair a slap trap doors all the way to connect over And on this corner as well, I slap and two trapdoors, two blocks, two slaps, another one and one up on this side as well, and then slaps all the way across. Same thing on this side, so a slap and two trap doors and two full blocks, a slap and one up and same thing here, two slaps, one up. Another slap and then an upside down stair and a slap and trap doors between. Here again, upside down stair and the slap. Then trap doors on top and connect over to the corner. So now you go a slap, two blocks, I slap and then a full block, I slap in front, another slap two full blocks and a slap. One up, another one and one up again. And then on the other side, same thing. And two more slaps. A slap, full block, another next to it and a slap on this side as well i slap two full blocks on the other side of the roof two steps then two blocks on top and two more next to those and then two steps in front and then three slaps and a full block Another one. Full block again. I slap. A full block. And a slap in front. And there I slap again. This is just the same thing as on the other side. And also I forgot to place those slaps underneath um, the full block. So it should mirror the other side. And here again, two slaps and one up and there as well. Now it's a full block, then slaps 
and in the center a full block again then slabs and at the end a full block and some planks all the way over Here again, a full block, slaps all the way to the center, and a full block, slaps again, and a full block to close it off. This side as well, just some planks. Two slabs, then two full blocks, another one, and a slab, then four more full blocks, another one, and a slab, another two slabs, and full blocks to connect over. The gaps underneath the glowstone we are going to close from the inside. So it's a trap door, another one, and a slab, and full blocks to connect over. A slab and a trap door. And here it's a full block on top of the slab. Another slab in front and a slab left and right. Now three slabs. Full block, slabs left and right. Trap doors. And another slab. And some oak trap doors on top of the glowstone. Now trap doors all the way over to the other side of the roof. So a slab, two blocks, and then three slabs, two there and one there. And then you basically fill this up with full blocks. So one there in the center and then over to the other side of the roof. Go two by two all full blocks. Then two slabs and one on the stripped oak. Another full block. And one there in the center. Another one and a slab. And then the slab left and right. Now here it's a block, then a glowstone, all the way over, another glowstone, and a block, and a slab. And again the gaps underneath the glowstone we close later. So you have three slabs, trap doors left and right, another slabs in front of those trap doors, and a full block in the center. And then trap doors on top of those glowstones. And here it's a slab, five blocks and another slab. Now trap doors all the way to the other side. Fill this part in with slabs. Three blocks to connect over and then two rows of slabs.
use planks to fill in the rest of the roof. So from there it's two more slabs to make it three. Then trap doors all the way over. And three slabs. And a trap door left and right. Now here we close the gaps underneath the glowstone. And then upside down stairs all the way around. These lights are placed four blocks apart. So you start counting from the wall. Four blocks, then another four towards the center. And then one more time for the last light. Now we make the floor and some very light interior decoration and then some last touches to the build and some greenery to finish the whole thing. So this decorates the place and gives you some storage as well. grass blocks left and right you need them for some sugar cane. Fill in some water, place the sugar cane and cover the water with some slabs. Same on this side, water, sugar cane, slabs. here you go up three blocks one over and then a slab and one up on the other side as well then trap doors and carpet on top then a lantern up there some more storage and a light and the door. On the other side, same thing. Three blocks up, one over. A slab on top and one up. Trap doors. And carpet on top. And a lantern in the corner. A door. And some storage on the side. Now for the greenery, just work your way through and place the leaves till it looks nice. Now bring in the floor in the back.
fill this in with moss and some spruce logs. Some water for the sugar cane. Some trapdoors on this side. And on the other as well. Just some more leaves and maybe another lantern. That's it. I hope you had some fun. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.